Governor Mark Dayton is asking the state legislature for $130 million in natural resources asset preservation support for the DNR. Dayton says the money would be used for urgently needed improvements to DNR buildings and other infrastructure. A broken water line at Jay Cook State Park this year meant no water for drinking or flushing toilets after the park shut down the water supply and closed all of the bathrooms with flush toilets. The DNR says the broken water line is among the growing list of repairs needed throughout the state to hundreds of roofs, dilapidated bridges, washed out roads and culverts, substandard electric service and failing mechanical and utility systems. We manage uh, many forest roads uh, across northern Minnesota where timber is harvested. Uh, many of those roads have bridges that are uh, uh, now have weight restrictions on them because they can't be uh, can't take the weight on them. We have more than 100 miles of state trail that's paved that needs replacement uh, that has not been uh, taken care of adequately because we have not had the money. And again, 192 buildings that are uh, unsatisfactory, unsafe, uh, not uh, conducive to public use. The DNR's 10-year capital needs report shows 192 of the agency's inventory of 2,700 buildings are in crisis or unacceptable condition, and 520 are in poor condition. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.